Welcome to the Minecraft Podcast, Season 2, Episode 129. Did you know we were starting? I did I not. Think you did. I mean, you said let's go, but that did <laughs> not signal that you would hit the button yet, and I was reading an email. So, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome right. to the Pood Cast. How's life? How you been? Hot. It's really hot in here, but besides that. I wish it was hot here. It's gotten cold again. It was, like, real nice, and now it's real cold again. It's just hot in here. Oh, I see. Not 77. Out of there. Damn. Turn the I AC know. on, dog. That's what I'm saying. Do you but not when I, the, when I open the door, it's like 70 out there. Oh. So, like, ugh. This do you not have a, a thermostat furnace. in your in your room there? I do not. No, mm. the, the office is two zones only. Well, that's annoying. The front zone and the warehouse zone. That is it. You have a warehouse? And I've got equipment. Yeah, I've got a warehouse, a whole warehouse. What do you put in it? In the back, merch. Oh, uh, lots of you merch. Got a lot of open space and boxes. Um, what do you mean open space? Like space? Like you have like a stage worth of open space? Uh, no. Like okay. to host something? Yeah. No. All right. We have All lots right. of uh shelving. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? And a server. Very loud. So it sucks to work back there. Cause it's like, did you get your, did you get but your server working again? It's working, I think. Hopefully we don't lose internet. I mean, back there, it's even hotter because of that thing. Yeah. Right. It, well, in, this, in the networking closet, it's like 85. And I feel like that's fine. <sighs> Man, every server room I've been in is like 40. But I mean, yeah. I think it's fine. So far, it's fine. Nothing is blown up, so it's probably fine. I mean, what's you ever the worst been in like a like a big server room with a like floating floor and all I've that? I've never been in like a cla- a tier whatever it is data center before. No, really, they seem pretty fucking sick. God, whenever I uh, when I was a system administrator, every hot day I'd be like, I got things to do in there, <laughs> and I would just spend <laughs> the entire <Bye>. day. <laughs> yeah, because there was a there was a PC in there, so I was just like, this is my workstation, actually. Um, oh really yeah <laughs> i mean it sounds pretty cool there's like hot aisles right that's like a thing i guess where all the fans blow into a hot aisle that gets sucked out and somehow we just had a shitload of ac units blowing in there and now, sh- well, where'd the air go i don't know oh okay. out, i guess i mean because it was always like if the temperature got over 50 the alarms would sound and shit like that so, jesus jesus um yeah we, yeah uh, there was a so- thing where like it was like three phase power too, and like one mm, mm-hmm. something happened where like one phase went out, and like I don't it know burned what that up. means. I don't. I don't either. I don't understand okay. what it meant. <laughs> but all I know is it it ruined literally all of our AC units because the way they were like running. So all all of our AC units failed. Everything went down. We had like four companies haul in all these portable AC units. It was it's was wild. What is three phase power? I went to explain like I'm five and I typed in how three phase power works. And the first response is watch this video. <laughs> it's like, well, that's not. Exp- I, um, I don't know. Yeah. If you plot an alternate current against time, it was the shape of, of a wave. The wave is special. Okay. Yeah. There's no ELI. It doesn't exist. Yeah. So you gotta, it's fine. You get a degree. You, you have to have a, you have, you're, you're smart you have to have a sometimes. degree in electricity, which I yeah. do not have. Um, yeah. yeah. So well, that sounds uh, cool. No, I know that in modern data centers, you like blow cold air in one side, and then it goes into a hot aisle in between two racks of servers that then gets sucked out. Huh. So it's like a hot. Yeah, aisle. That, the the biggest server in my world did not have that, but they were building a new one in their main building. Whenever I quit, so maybe it got upgraded to to what you're talking about. Mm. But the coolest thing for me was the the floating floor. You pull one of the tiles out, and it's like probably like three foot drop, and like oh, a billion wires because just like all it's like, like a drop ceiling but upside down. Yeah, basically. Wow, that's cool. That's actually um, cool. Damn. But uh, yeah, electricity scares me though because like it hurts. It can like kill you and things. I don't fuck with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, apparently, it's not as dangerous as we think it is, at least just, according to my electrician cousin. He's just like, yeah, I touch hot wires all the time. It fucking shock me a little. All right. They make so much money. Yo, like, the somebody in this office park is uh, 
an electrical engineer for architects. And this dude does nothing. (laughs) (laughs) He he does literally nothing. Uh, Talking to him, people submit him plans for like big commercial buildings or whatever. And his entire job is literally taking a physical rubber stamp, stamping it and signing the plan. And that's his entire job. Mm. Uh, and he checks everything just to make sure it doesn't look like anything's going to blow up or whatever. Right. And then every time he stamps a fucking thing, it's like 2000 bucks. Just <laughs> boop, two thousand bucks. That's good. Uh, and then Man, he'll do house of, calls. Uh, like he'll, he'll go to people's houses. And when they're like, cause you have to get permits, right? If you want to, Oh, I want to add just a sunroom onto my house. Oh, right. is there going to be a light in there? Well, yeah. get it approved. And so he'll go spend like five minutes looking at a thing. Oh, that'll be 500 bucks. <laughs> it's just like, I guess the whole point is that he is licensed. So in the end, if something was found to be faulty with it, that he could have stopped, he is at fault. And so that's kind of yeah. what you're paying for is, yeah. you know, is yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever worked with uh, a Solaris server? Uh, I have not, not in an administrative way. Let's put it that okay. way. Okay. Fucking thing is, it just reminded me when those don't exist. About Do those still exist? I, back in the day, you couldn't be ICANN accredited without, uh, you had to have a Solaris server to run and domain registry. Damn, I guess they are. It's still a thing. Jesus. Oracle Solaris. I remember, so when I was in grad school, the university ran a lot of Solaris old ass servers because it's whatever, that was the like the Fortran monster that yeah. would run all the old code from like the, the early 90s, I think it was. I wonder if you still, uh, if you still have to have a Solaris server to be ICANN accredited. Um, is Solaris. I don't know how all that works. I'll bet it uses old ass tech though. I guarantee it uses right. old tech. It, it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kind of thing. Uh, it's like all these, um, yeah, Fortran. If you know Fortran seventy seven, you can like actually bank out right now, just in converting, because people will send like I need this Fortran code converted into Java or Python or whatever it is. Yeah, it looks like you still need an Oracle uh, Solaris machine. That's for crazy. I can accredit- accreditation, but uh, those things go together like bad legos man like every piece in there is proprietary and like the Mm. way it all snaps together is just like these weird i've never been so cut up as i have been by a solaris machine there's so much blood that live in those things oh shit not actually administrating them but building them yeah physically but like yeah like god i've forgotten literally everything i knew about administering the things too to be honest cd (laughs) pseudo It, yep, you're you're ready. CD pseudo LS. Ooh, no LS. List the directory. <laughs> I use that all the time. Actually, that those things I use all the time. I actually don't know. Solaris might actually not be like Linux. No, Linux it's slightly overall. different because it's uh, it's the Oracle operating system, right? So it's not running mm-hmm. any flavor of Linux. Um, it's like with so. Windows, they have to type DIR. It's like who the fuck came up with this? This is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Should be LS whatever whatever LS stands for. Should be that. I think it's just list. I always use LL because it's a more comprehensive. Yeah. Yeah. I do like LS I think it's... dash A for oh, all, yeah. <laughs> which I think is what LL is. I was about to say, I think that's just what LL is. Yeah. I, it's just, no, just I think LL things. is LS dash AL. Oh, okay. It's I definitely think. one of these things it's that's just burned wild. into my, burned into my fingers. So I just do LS dash A. Like it's just, a, it's just a, yeah. It's, right. I don't, I don't even know what I type. Yep. Yep. God, I don't Burned even know in. what I would. I don't I'll bet you could totally do. I'll, I'll bet you could totally do it at this just point. You could probably if you just give it, give it like five minutes. You're like, oh, hell yeah. PWD this motherfucker. Right. So do you use Pico or Vi? I use VI. Let's go all day. Yeah, me too. Me too. I love an I love an old ass editor that doesn't use like anything. It's just like, oh, how do you move up and down? Oh, it's J. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"What?" laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, it's designed so that you never move your hands, right? So you right. never have to actually go over to an arrow key or anything like that. And it's so nice you but can I'm... execute commands, like, from in it, like, outside, mm-hmm. like the shell command. It's yeah. awesome. You can do split view where you're editing one and moving back. It's incredibly powerful. But, like, if you were to give that to a kid today, oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm a kid today. I still, I mean, I had to learn it. 
but it's so much easier. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I, I think definitely remember the even... first time I opened it up. I was like, what, how, what the fuck? Yeah. How am yeah. I expected to do anything? It's like so. one of the, you're, it's like you're an airline person now, right? Cause they still have to go in and manually type in oh, all these right, codes and right. all that shit. Yeah. It's like that, but you just have to know, oh, you hit colon Q to quit. Like you just have to, right. it's, it's, it's a whole thing. You just have to remember. <laughs> um, and I guess uh. nowadays there's a lot of Emacs. Mm. That's like a, that's like a more, that's like Pico to the next yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. I Pretty think it's cool like stuff. an easier to use for the, the layman version of VI as well. VIMO or something like that. It's just VIM. Oh, VIM. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I ever used that. Guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hardcore. <laughs> I write all my code in VI only. You know what I'm saying? Uh, VI is pretty. Anyways, great. we this has been the nerdiest intro to a podcast there's ever been. Let's talk more about Unix type operating systems. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's a podcast in itself, man. Maybe oh. we should start a new sidecast about oh, Unix. <laughs> Unix administration. Like two people might listen. Yeah. And they'd be smarter than us. And they'd so. be very upset, honestly. They'd just hate it. Because they're like, <laughs> yeah. these fucking idiots, they don't know anything. They know literally uh, nothing about this shit. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh now, now I'm I'm balls deep in my SQL now. So that's like Oh man, I used yeah. SQL is great. Know. It is. And all these people that are like, oh, I just used Mongo. How about you suck my wiener? And what's like, Mongo? I guess this is something new since I did all these things. MySQL is like a relational database with like tables. Like mm -hmm. it's, a it's a spreadsheet, right? Yeah. MySQL is just a spreadsheet. That, it, that's all it is. Uh, with some really cool functionality. Um, Mongo is unstructured data. So you can think of it like it's just JSON. It's just a big JSON oh. file. Okay. Um, so you can have like, uh, like, like for a category. So like I'm doing YouTube right here. There's a, I have a table called YouTube topic categories. Um, and in there is an idea, topic, category, and a link, right? Those three things. And so what you would have is just a record in basically JSON that is those three things. But because it's unstructured, if you wanted to just randomly add a property to one of them, you totally could without adding a whole new column as well, oh. because it doesn't have columns. I see. So the model is really, it's a property that just has, or it's a, a thing that just has attached properties to it, but they're not necessarily structured in any sort of way. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I don't think which I'd is like the whole—that's the whole thing. But fuck that. I want structure, baby. You know what I'm saying? I want—I yeah. want a damn call. I want a dedicated column that I can primary index. <laughs> Boy, this is a great pod. I love it's it. Honestly, so good, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so how's Dodo's been going? Dodo's good. We sold you guys, out. Did last you guys week. release? You sold out. I sold out last week. Whoops. And uh, that's the thing. We've also made an investment. We now have one of those coolers that you can plug in. Oh, that's that nice. is a freezer. It's a cooler. Yeah. That's a freezer. Yeah. So like, what's that? You called? can take it. It was like two fifty. That's not so bad. And it's huge. And we can like fill it up with a bunch of shit. Take it to the market, and it's all frozen. Yeah. And it's supposed to work up to one hundred and twenty-two degrees outside. Holy shit! Which is where I you live. About that. <laughs> it says it can stay at negative four while it's 122 outside, and there's no shot that that is real. So you guys have like but, a plug at your booth, sort of thing. You have power. We do, but it also runs off of battery, 12 volt, and 24 volt. So you can plug it in your car if you wanted to. Gotcha, um, gotcha. And, and we have a batteries, battery for it too. I spent 400 dollars on batteries in the last week. What the fuck? <laughs> for my what kind of batteries? Backpack. My backpack, um, the camera bag. Um, four hundred dollars in batteries yeah so um i plug bought... that bitch in well <laughs> i'm walking around i guess uh you know <laughs> there'll be a long extension cord um so what i, I, I it was like half that at first because i have like How? a forty thousand mah maw uh, that's so much a 30 and a 20 is all that's in the bag and then I got an extra of all of them as well because I finally ran out one night. I can only go 10 hours before it dies. I just don't understand why you're doing this. Why? What do you mean? I don't understand why you need extra batteries. Why don't you just charge the batteries? Because uh, you cannot charge and power the device at the same time. Um, 
So I, I'm basically going to, I can only get a 10 hour stream out of what I have currently. No, I'm saying you could take a battery in the car with you that could charge all the other ones. Here we go. Uh, well, the ones that are in the bag cannot be charged while they're running the stream. It lowers. But they're their all output. linked up together. Is that what well, you're doing? So um, I have three modems in there, and each of them have their own battery. And then there's the encoder that has that's attached to one of the other batteries. So the Verizon modem is attached to the encoder, and then that's attached to a battery. So the Verizon modem is not is the only one that's not on its own battery. And mm-hmm. then I have two fans that are USB fans that I've attached to the top uh, that blow out of the backpack, and they, they go into a battery Does it that get has that a modem. hot? Yes. Yes. It, uh, yeah. Without that, it was get up to like 60 Celsius. Um, the encoder was. And I mean, did it break? I, it powered off. The ba- the modems uh, will power off if they get too hot, and then well, now you're not online anymore. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, but since I've added the the fans, it's been fine. I just keep the bag like open, and I use like clips to like hold it, but it's open, and there's two fans that are blasted out the top. Um, yeah. So what yeah. are you doing? I know uh, Trent keeps watching, and that's all <laughs> I know. Uh, honestly, my viewership's been up a whole lot since I've he loves it. Uh, so, I'm doing DoorDash I, mean, I know he's obsessed with watching. So uh, I've been doing a lot of DoorDash um, and mm-hmm. a lot of shopping for people, and it's not good. It's just so, not good, Matt. DoorDash is car. You can be plugged in, but I well, I wouldn't. I mean, there's. I don't the know how you, you do don't, it. I haven't watched. You don't want to. I don't want to because every time I go pick up an order. I put the backpack on and I walk into the restaurant. Oh my gosh, that is so much work. Well, that's why it sucks. Um, and uh, what do you mean? Why Holy it sucks? shit, that sounds like absolute hell. It's not that Constantly bad. Constantly putting on the backpack. I have a quick release attached to a tripod in the car. So as soon as I get in the car, I just quick release the the uh, camera, slap it on the other one. Now you got the outside view or whatever. And then mm-hmm. when I get to whatever restaurant or whatever, I quick release, put it back on the shoulder, and it takes a few seconds to put it okay. back on. It's not bad. But if I had all that shit plugged in the car, then it would be a nightmare, right? Because I'm like having to fucking unplug all these things and I guess. Plug it back so you the can't battery. you can't charge these batteries while they're being used. Yeah, yeah, that's it the doesn't, problem. It doesn't it doesn't put out enough amps then to power the encoder and the modems. Is there not just like a big fucker of a battery that you can? So that's get? what I was looking at, honestly. Like I was looking at one of those like hundred thousand uh batteries, yeah, like hundred thousand mAh, but they're so go. fucking heavy. Like the forty yeah. thousand was already fucking heavy, and the bag is not light. It's like twenty five pounds or so. Um, yeah. So it's it's a it's a bit rough. I've seen somebody use a um, a chainsaw battery before. <laughs> like uh, uh, like those went, uh, but... power tool batteries that you can swap. Uh, yeah, I think so. it's kind of like a mini car battery. Is almost what it looked like, but then you had to have a controller on it to convert it from the. You know, uh-huh. the 12 volt that it outputs at or what a 24 volt that it output at. Um, yeah, I think people yeah. are enjoying it because you don't never know. You never know what's going to happen. Like you're out in the world. Who the fuck? Who knows? What's something know. crazy that happens? There's not been a lot. Like I was uh, I got a rate of 14,000 people the other day mm-hmm. uh, from uh, El Rich MC, the giant Spanish Minecrafter. Oh, and shit. it was as I was walking into Best Buy, I was looking for a new HDMI cable because mine was being fucky. And uh so I had so many people watching because so many of them stuck around, which was great. Um, and then I'm just walking around Best Buy, and this guy's like, hey, man, can you help me buy a camera? And so I just, like, helped a customer buy a Sony camera. And what we talked for, like, 15 minutes. I guess he saw the camera on my shoulder and was like, he must know about cameras. I yeah. Um, so, like, that that was that was something. There's some random interactions with people. that be like, wow, you got a camera on your shoulder. Um, yeah. And uh, I feel like every time I watch IRL streams of people that I know, I'm like, damn, they are they are literally never that outgoing without that camera on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm just the same person, honestly. i you know what I mean? I haven't I've watched, seen I Chad know. though. Chad Chad's a little full of shit, honestly. Let's just be honest. What do you mean um, he's full of shit? Whenever he's got his backpack on, that is not normal he's Chad. Very, he's a very personable person. He is a personable person, but I think he cranks it up to 11 when he's got his backpack on. I'll bet you I'll bet you crank it a little bit. I don't think I do. I'll I'll bet, do I do talk you, more shit about people outside you of my crank. head. Um, mm-hmm. Like that's normally I'll, just I'll the bet internal. You, I'll bet you give that a little crank a eh, Maybe. You don't, maybe. you don't just kind of go up to people? No. Just be like, just be like, people hey, have man, to come up, up to me. I did. I was in Wegmans doing a shopping trip and because uh, I thought I thought, all right, Wegmans, high class, expensive ass fucking grocery store. These people are going to be the ones that tip. Truth is, it's not true. It's not true at all. Um, 
Wegmans but uh, is expensive? I was, Wegmans is, I think, the most expensive grocery store there is. Um, the it's fuck? higher than Whole Foods on the average right. price of a product. Um, there might be a more expensive grocery store, but not one I know of. Anyways, um, at least around me. Um, so I've been, I was driving into Raleigh, and I tested, like, let's do a, way, a day of Wegmans, see how much money we can make. The answer is about four dollars an hour we mean a uh, day of wegmans so like, doing the shopping and delivery for people at wegmans yeah for like eight hours straight like what am okay. i gonna make yeah. um how does that the, work okay you, we gotta which, get we gotta get deep okay we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're going fucking deep did you have to sign up as like a wegmans contract no i signed up as a as a shopper and there's tons of stores um oh. so it's not just wegmans there's a whole bunch of stores like yesterday Is i just like 300? instacart like that, yeah. Okay. Um, yesterday, I did a three hundred dollar order at Food Lion. Um, the most items, the fullest my Beatles ever been of groceries. Hell yeah! Um, did you feel awesome doing it though? I, I mean, it's also it. fun content. Like honestly, I think it is like, fun content. It's like, kind of like, like what's this person buying? Let's judge oh yeah, we, everything they're buying. We talked a lot of shit, and also, Hell oh yeah. my god, that's this would probably drive you part. crazy. But I have a text to speech app that reads yeah. t- Twitch chat into my ear. And it talks like the Micro Machine Man, like super fast. And so I have a constant no, I love flow of voices in my head. Now, does um, the stream hear that or it's just you? It's just you so that you Just can... me. I did one night like walk away and the Bluetooth disconnected. And then they got to hear what I'm hearing. And they asked for me to leave it on for that night. But they got tired of it because it is like just constant. Yeah. Um, no, I love that shit. Well. I listen to podcasts at 1.5x. Like I am yeah, mean do to that. fast. Um, I love but... fast. Yeah, the chat has to be faster. Like, I can't. It to get you can't get through it. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, oh but, man, uh, it's uh, come on. That's got to be fun, right? Like, <laughs> lol. Look at this shit. This person's buying or trying yeah. to figure out what they're cooking. Like, what the right. fuck are they making with this shit? Yeah, that's you know a lot what? Hard judging too. And you know what? Like, I people also that buy feel like, like the pre-cut chicken that's like yeah. six dollars. It's yeah. like this is eight ounces of chicken for six dollars, dog. Mm-hmm. You can get chicken's nine nine cents a pound. Buy a chicken breast, cook it, slice it. You're done. Here's the thing, dude. I do feel like you're kind of that person that would do this. You, I, I just feel like you're the kind of person who would say, "Yeah, this isn't available. I'm going to substitute it with something to, <laughs> to make you do it right." <laughs> I almost did that with salt the other day. This person was buying Morton salt, and I'm like, yeah. "This is the wrong salt to cook with. You need to yeah. be buying the Red Box kosher salt." And so I was like, you, almost then like, you, then you click cancel, substitute with something else. <laughs> yeah, I literally almost did that with the salt. I was like, "You need to learn the good salt. Uh, Maybe if I give it to you once, that's you'll hilarious. know." And, that's in the so future, fucking get the funny. Right salt. I can a hundred million percent see you doing that. <laughs> Oh my god! I can see you doing that. Not even on camera. Like if you're just doing it, I could see you being like, "Nah, fuck this. I am not. I will. Lit- I literally refuse to deliver diamond salt. <laughs> or, no, it's the other one, Morton. I yeah. refuse to deliver this. Garbage. Fuck that. You know what? I re- I refuse to live to deliver pre-cut chicken. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, you're getting uncut. Yeah, you're getting um, you're getting uncut chicken. By the way, it's fucking cheaper. Okay, I just saved you some money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, so this $300 order I did yesterday took so long, hour and 30 minutes, um, shopping really? and delivery. Yeah. It was so Damn. many fucking items, man. I, my cart was the most full I've ever had any cart. That's um, cool though. What are you doing? Cat? Chill out. Why? Um, and, uh, so anyways, the woman lives on the second floor, of course, in an apartment with no, no elevator or like that. So mm-hmm. up and down the stairs, multiple trips, so much shit. With a backpack. Gave, no, I don't bring the backpack to their door just to protect oh, the customer's okay. ca- privacy. Okay. I do bring it in the store and, you know, when I'm doing DoorDash, right. but I don't ever put the customer on the camera, but basically. That makes sense. Um, but uh, anyways, she gave me $10. $10 yep. as a tip. It was a $10 tip. Yes, and they, they pay you based on mileage, and she lived like half a mile from the store. Mm-hmm. So I got eleven dollars total. Oh wait, they don't pay you for picking? There's no pick fee or anything like that. Uh-uh. No, no, it's like distance and they uh, only pay you for the driving part of it, the yeah. driving and delivery, and the, and the rest of it. You don't liable. actually. I think there's like I think there is a small batch fee or something like that, but it's not it's not a lot of money. Um, yeah, I basically got really fucked, and that's what it's all been. Like the shopping app is so bad. Everyone tips like, oh, dude, you just spent an hour shopping. Here's four bucks. Mm-hmm, um mm-hmm. it's just yeah, maybe i'm tipping too high <laughs> no these people are assholes. so uh, i know there's an app that connect and this might literally only be with like the eating apps 
Um, but I know there is like an optimizer app thing that basically only alerts you when the deal is above whatever threshold you set. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I know that's like a thing. Um, with DoorDash, if you don't accept orders, they fuck you basically. What do like you mean? So you have to keep a, a certain threshold of acceptance rate or they'll stop giving you orders. And they'll also only give you low paying orders if your acceptance rate is below 50%. They'll stop giving you orders completely. Yeah, you you well, can you even get reach. Then you how can, do you get you it? Can basically, get, have, you're just done. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's um, crazy. Yeah. So what I've learned though is, overall, for your time spent, DoorDash is probably better than shopping for people. But I think content wise, shopping for people is more entertaining. <clears throat> Cause like you're walking around a store, you're you know like you said, judging what they're doing, like all this. But like mm -hmm. the what I've also learned is if you are doing this for a living, you're going to starve to death. Like there's no way to make money from it. Like you're spending at least where I live. Maybe if you live somewhere like New York City and you're using a bike, you're not paying for gas, or you have an electric car and you're paying less for you know less for the energy to get you from point A to point B or whatever. Maybe it works, but. Like the way the way it's going for me is it's real bad. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, just not good. Uh but yeah, DoorDash like two nights ago I did like two hours of DoorDash and I made like eight dollars an hour. And then like last night it was actually not that bad. Um it was a little higher than that, like ten dollars an hour, but still like they're an like hour. You make twenty two dollars an hour and it's like is there yeah, like won't. surge pricing you can take advantage of and stuff like that? Or yeah, like or is, no, are your hours kind of confined outside of that? What do you like, mean? You, is there a, is there a better hour you could be doing? The I driving? mean, yeah. If you're, it, well, the times I've 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 been having like ten hour streams basically. Um, basically, are you ever like just live, sitting there doing nothing? Not really. Not with oh, DoorDash. Really? It's with constant DoorDash. Work? It's like. Not only is it constant with DoorDash, if you've ever gotten DoorDash and it was cold or soggy because it sat around for a while, the reason why is because DoorDash likes to give you multiple orders. Yeah, so they batch like, it up. Yeah, it's like, well, you've picked up this food. Now drive five miles that way, pick up some other food. Now deliver the second one first. You still got that fucking first order sitting in your seat over here. It's just sitting there getting cold. We'll get to them, though. Don't worry. Um, do you, so do you have like a you, hot box? Do you, do you have they, like a little thing? They sent me an insulated bag. I keep forgetting it at home, though, so. Well, so uh, here's the thing with that. When they do that, I like to tip more. When I see it, when I see that bag come out and they've made the effort of doing that, yeah. let's go. Here's the thing. I don't think I've, I've met one customer in person out of 30 orders total. Oh, you dropping shit off at the door. Everyone wants it at the door. I did have a lady say this I did not. It sounds amazing for introverts. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, this this is like this is pandemic dining, right? Like, this is how this came to really be. Is everyone did yeah. not want a contactless uh, food delivery? Basically, sounds um, fucking sick. But uh, I did have um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I did have a lady say that I did not deliver her food, um, and so I got like a strike on my account. And so I responded with, "Here's a link to my Twitch stream. Um, mm -hmm. Here's their food being delivered." That and, is not uh, gonna go far. They well, did yeah, that, they did that work? The, yeah, they removed the strike. Wow. Yeah, did you like, DoorDash? Um, so they were like, oh, I guess there's video evidence. Um, so, yeah. Have you talked to DoorDash? No. I mean, oh. I submitted that support thing, but I haven't, like, You should reach to out. You should, like, reach out to their marketing and be like, this is what I'm doing. This is kind of fun. Like, let's I don't know up. if they would like it or hate it. Because, like, they may feel find like out. this is like – but if they hate it, then they're like, you're no longer a DoorDash or they tell me not to do it. And so I'd rather – Nah, dude, I got the sauce. All right, man. I got the sauce for you. <laughs> I did make a logo. You, no, you um, shoot them over. You shoot them over a fucking email from. Uh, you know what you do? You shoot them over an email from uh, Tommy at BigBootyBitches.biz and say, <laughs> "Listen, man, I got a few. I got a few content creators that are door dashing. They're loving it. They want to know. Can we work together? Can we do something together?" And then when yeah. they say, yeah, let's do something together, then you can be like, all right, I'm going to hook you up. And then you're like, all right, CC good at good .net. Um, And There you are. I just you're in. You a picture. You're in. You know what I'm saying? I fucking love everything about this. I'm going to oh make God. stickers. You need, a, you need a hat with a patch right here of that. That is uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great.
So Man, I, 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 I was like, this. actually, while we were just in that meeting, I've been working on making shirts and stickers. Uh, you made so this? Ma- this uh, is well, sick. Mid Journey made most of this. Um, <laughs> this is fucking but, sick, though. Like, for real, for real. Uh, but yeah, yeah Mid Journey made it mostly in the, the text, basically. I would um, just put DD. Well, I could, yeah. My ch- this is my chat's fault. They started. Well, actually, this is Jess's fault. She started calling me Dash Daddy. I love the double D's. It's, it's <laughs> double D's. You got the Dash Daddy. Oh, damn. This is good. <laughs> damn, you need to fucking rebrand. Fuck that. Twitch.tv slash Dash Daddy. Let's go. Honestly, maybe it's not a bad idea. That's um, sick. But, uh, what if that's available? Um, Someone oh, registered more. the dash daddy.com and it redirects to my Twitch channel, actually. No way. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Yo, that actually rocks. That's so, that is hilarious. So I was going to get a shirt with that logo on. What it. was it? Uh, the dash daddy? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait, dot com. Yeah, I think it's oh, dot wait, com. That doesn't work. Really? Net. Maybe it's just dash daddy. I thought it was the dash daddy. Oh gosh, dashdaddy.com is something else. Don't yeah. go there. Oh yeah, the dashdaddy.com. It works for me. What? Maybe the your DNS dash hasn't propagated. Daddy it only registered like two days ago. Oh, it doesn't. No. Oh, good live stream info. It goes to a doc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what. And it, so, it, by it the way, to Goo.Live. they need to fix the because when you hit Control Enter in Chrome or whatever, it goes www. So just the www uh, doesn't redirect. No www. The, subdom- the subdomain is not redirecting. That's I right. see. They need to wild card that shit. Right. Star dot. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Come I made this on, doc. Man. I changed my goo.live because goo.live used to just go straight to Twitch. And mm-hmm. so I made like twitch.goo.live and yt.goo.live so that I have two separate. And then I had this as just goo.live that kind of links you everywhere um, and talks about what all I'm doing, basically. This document is to share what's up with goo and live streaming. Uh,. IRL stream plan. Oh wow, this is just like fucking organized. <laughs> what is? What the fuck is all this? Bog garden. What are? What, what the fuck am I even? Lo- I don't. I literally don't know what I'm looking at. Um, um, I made a doc of like things. Oh, these to are do the things the- to do. Okay, send you a tip. Buy you some shit on Throne. Go watch you live. You need to like put some arrows around that Twitch thing. Like make that bounce. Damn, you need a fucking link tree. I mean, this is your own little version of a link tree. I guess. On link tree, can you have like posts and stuff as well? I've never um, used link tree. Our link, my link tree, you can. Okay. Because yeah, I want to have like that little thing at the bottom there where I talk about like what the fuck, you know? I mean, we we run our own version of link tree for oh, I see. our people, but like I can make that for you, and uh, and that obviously you can do whatever you want. Um, okay. Yeah, sounds good. Um, but oh, yeah, I want to. This is like, this I, like, like words. I want to, uh, you know, get some shirts. I want to get stickers that say Dash Daddy, just like that. I want to slap them on everyone's back when I deliver their food. Yeah, you wish. No, why not? You are literally not going to do that. Why not? On everyone's back, you're going to like pat them on, on their, their back bag. and be like, their bag. Oh, oh. their food <laughs> bag. Like, like oh. everyone's food bag. No, everyone's food bag is going to get a Dash Daddy uh. sticker on it. I see. Okay. Um, and then I was oh. gonna get one of those big magnetic like stickers or not stickers, but magnetic things that go on your like your car door. Yeah, on yeah. The I'm just watching your streams now. This is actually honestly, this looks like fun as fuck to watch. Holy shit! I think this they're waiting cool for me to wreck. Honestly. <laughs> oh man, you're in the store for so fucking long. What is is this? This must be the the food line order. I, yeah, three food I just line went to the beginning. Yesterday. There's the food line, and it well, this one is <laughs> long. Yeah. So this website over here says make the most of focus on per mile, not per minute. Is that a thing? For what? Uh, uh focus on per mile not per minute many drivers will slowly will try to increase payment by purposely driving slower is that a thing no shot it that's seems not like how do this the works opposite. for me yeah that seems you're paid by mile yeah not by... definitely paid by mile <laughs> and you're tied by minute like you have a certain time to get there for the time you start shopping there's a timer running of like how long you have uh. to be done 
Jess went out with me the other day, and it was pretty good because we got two orders. That's what really sucks at the grocery store is whenever they give you two orders from the same store, and you're like, both of these fucking orders take a whole fucking cart. How, what, how, oh, how am I supposed shit. to do that? Oh, um, shit. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's not great. No, that's crazy. Um, but Jess was with me, so I was like, all right, these are your items. These are my items. Um, let's go. We did it super fucking fast, but it's still – it's not good money. Um, there you if go. it That's was not fun. for streaming it, I would not do these apps. But I think pairing it with streaming is makes it really worth well. it. Yeah. So like, look, see that thing right there. It like it it combines with all the apps that, and then it like you can sort by what is the most optimal job to take or some shit. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I bet it costs money. Probably it costs money. Surely. It, uh, download on the apps. Let's see. Oh, well, I think I just, I literally just downloaded some, what the fuck? Okay, well, this, their links literally just don't work. Or my ad blocker. Oh, it's my ad blocker. Well, um, yeah, it seems pretty cool. Ugh. Unlock additional work opportunities, uh, making it easier and is it safer? I don't know about that. It looks like it only works with Grubhub, Lyft, Uber, Uber Eats, DoorDash. What the fuck? Oh, it'll, it can, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. This thing can auto decline. <laughs> oh, that's the thing is you don't want to decline. Most I guess. Because if you Estimated decline. Estimated then... actual pay, it'll tell you your actual payout that you're actually going to get. Do you not know that until the end of the day or something? No, you know each time, but the thing is they can change their tip. That's what, mm. that's what people do at Uber. Because in DoorDash, you like set the tip. And I don't know that you can change it in DoorDash. In Uber, you have up to an hour to change the tip. So what people will do is they'll be like, I'm tipping 20 bucks. And people are like, yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Then, so and they, then they the change that zero. shit? Yeah. They put a what high the tip. They get people to quickly bring them their food and then no change shot. it to zero. Yep. Surely that shit's got to be like logged, right? You would think, think the that app you, gives a fuck. You would think that Uber would de-incentivize that. You would in think. That, in that being like high risk person. At least alerting drivers like this person changes their tips all the fucking time. I don't think I don't think they want to do that because they want the drivers to take the food regardless. I mean, yeah. think about it. Like, like I guess that's DoorDash. true. They're paying. DoorDash is so arrogant with it. They tell you what they make. They're like, on this order, we made ten dollars. You get two. They I think take eighty percent. I think that was because of a lot of backlash. Oh. That, oh, like literally last year or two years ago, they were like embroiled in all this backlash <laughs> because they didn't say anything. And then mm -hmm. somebody like found out or whatever, and it's just ah! and so now yeah. they're like, okay, well we're gonna take the same amount. We're just gonna tell you that. Yeah, an eighty <laughs> twenty split. It's such hot garbage. Damn, um, that's crazy. Yeah, and so many people don't tip. Like I, I had a, I had to do a thing uh, this morning, and I was early, and so I was sitting around, and I this is the only time I've done this when I wasn't, uh, um, when I wasn't streaming. But I was like, well, let's see if there's anything going on right here. Um, and so I delivered someone something and, uh, they, uh, they, they bought $40 worth of food and they gave me a dollar. Yeah. Just a dollar, a dollar. So, you, um, so it's mostly the tip is most of the pay. Yes. Like DoorDash on average gives you about two bucks per delivery. $2. Yeah. On average. Fucking about. nothing. Yeah. It's not, it's not good. Um, damn. Because you'd think they'd have, like, is there a way to rate the person that you're delivering to? No. Damn. What I want to do is I want to keep a log, and uh, if I see someone's name pop up again, I'm yeah. like, I remember you. Yeah, Especially for the shopping app. Yeah. Like, there's so many people. Like, this one guy, oh, my fucking God. He had uh, so many eyes. I, I don't remember the number now, um, but it was $130. He had five jugs of distilled water so that's eight pounds each he mm -hmm. had two cases of beer like a bunch of fucking heavy items he tipped zero dollars oh shit what the fuck yeah 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 that's crazy actually. yeah it's it's just not good money it's uh it's really bad hmm interesting well you're streaming it so yeah and like I've I've been setting a daily goal. Like I've been doing a thing with stream where it's like right, I have a daily goal of a hundred bucks. If we hit the hundred bucks, we stop dashing and all these other things, and we'll go do something fun. 
Um, and then I also have a, like a, a just an overarching goal of $1,000. When we hit $1,000, they can pick anything on that list. We'll do a poll on that list on that doc you were looking at. Oh, I see. That's what we do for the day. Um, so I think I'm at like 60% of the way there. Shit, that's good. Um, but yeah. Because I'm still not being cool. paid by Twitch. But I finally found out why. Did I tell you about that? Fucking I think Twitch. I did. Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Twitch the bitch. So uh, what I want to do is I want to stream gaming on YouTube at night. What I want to do is do the the IRL stuff when it's light outside. Oh yeah, you're start. IRLing on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. IRL on Twitch and gaming on because IRL on YouTube just doesn't really work because any DMCA they instantly take your stream now. Oh, fuck, um, so yeah. anytime you're in a grocery store, you're fucked because there's all the music and everything like that. Yeah. Um, so it's just really hard to to use YouTube for that. Oh, just, which stream, sucks. just stream on kick. Don't go fuck. <laughs> Uh, what sucks about the, the the Twitch thing is, or the YouTube thing is, they have a you, they're limited like twelve thousand bit rate, and uh, my camera back back can send twelve thousand bit rate, so it, it would look a lot fucking better. Wait, are you? Do you have unlimited plan though? Because holy yeah. fuck, that's a lot of data. Okay. Oh my god, dude, the amount of data I've used so far like six hundred gigs this Whoa. month. Whoa, yeah, nine Man, days in, I'm at like six hundred gigs. You about to be bandwidth restricted? They're like unlimited means unlimited ish. Like, yeah, calm down, honestly. Um, yeah, I use, I use AT&T, T-Mobile and Verizon. So I have all three in there and they just bonded. Um, mm-hmm. which one does it seem to be using most around you? Man, it really differs. Like around my house, it's AT&T, but then when you get closer to Raleigh, it seems to be a lot of, uh, Verizon. Um, and then like in the boonies, it seems like T-Mobile is the one that picks up the slack. What's um, like your longest job? Like what was the uh, prob- longest drive? Longest drive? Probably 30 minutes. Damn, that's got to be money though. That's got to be no some fucking cash. Like it's six, it's sixty six a mile. That's what they give you. Sixty cents a mile. You get sixty um, cents a mile. That's it. So yeah. you got paid like fifteen bucks. Yeah, I calculated um, how much my car uses, and it's like twenty cents a mile. Um, so it's like forty cents a mile yeah. profit. Okay. But then there's wear and tear on the car too. So yeah. you know, hard. It's really hard to know exactly what your profit is each day in these sort of things. There's a screw in my tire. Um. It's been there for like a week or two. I've noticed it, <laughs> but like it, the air pressure is not going down. So I think you just leave it in, right? You just kind of yeah, good. You yeah. just kind of leave it in. <laughs> the problem is it's towards the side, so it has oh, to be a retire replacement. Yeah. So I think yeah. I just kind of leave it in. Yeah, I would see if it comes it out on its down. own. You know, my uh, my sensor just died in my car actually the other night while I was out driving around for the your blow yuppie sensor. Yeah, so it thinks all my tires are like. Uh, flat and i'm nice. like no they're not and so hell I yeah had to take my car on monday for that also my push to start doesn't always push to start it's like it pushes to it takes stop. Like six or yeah or stop it doesn't it just takes like six oh. presses sometimes to get oh, it to so it's stop. not it's not the ignition at least though right it's it's if it takes time to stop as well that's probably a good thing yeah it's just the, because like, it's, the you're not gonna have to replace fuck. the whole ignition right right, right 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 or what is that um, called what's that fucking thing called the whatever that starter? is starter yeah the starter lol that's it um yeah uh but yeah i i have a appointment on monday to ring my beetle in also occasionally all the lights on the dash come on like everything's broken mm-hmm. broken and then it they, then they go away um so it's probably some oh, kind fun. of computer based error love that will probably cost ten thousand dollars to fix but uh probably not yeah, yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah, I really don't want to be driving the Beetle anyways for this. Uh, I want to get my the Ford Taurus going again, but it's got some kind of fuel rel- like fuel pump or fuel filter problem mm-hmm. where it, like it like gets bogged down. So I bought a new fuel filter. Now, I just haven't changed it. Have yet. you been to a DoorDash mm-hmm. lobby yet, or whatever the fuck those things are? What the fuck are you talking about? They have like centers for drivers. Oh, do they? Yeah. What, you know, what, what, what yeah, do you, do you definitely do. Door- oh my god. I don't have anything nice uh, to say about them though, so why would I go there? No, no, no. It's it's like uh, it's it's like they they have places where you can go to like have it's like a lobby, I guess, for drivers or something. Um, I've seen like, these before. It's like a, like a lounge. Is that what you're saying? Like yeah. Uh, what do they call it? DoorDash Driver Center or something like that. Dash. Ah, oh, fuck. What the fuck are they called? Drive support? No, it can't be that. It's like a I've seen these, like I've driven past it before. <coughs> Maybe it's not DoorDash. Maybe it was like Uber Eats or something. But they've got like places. Have you tried Uber? 
I have, I have, uh, I have all of them. I have Uber, mm. Uber Eats, DoorDash. I can't do Uber Driver because I don't have a car that they support. Um, and then I have the shopping app. Um, and uh, Uber's weird because of the whole they can change their tip thing. Um, I had the, my first one I ever did was Uber and it worked out really well. The guy gave me 10 bucks and Hell yeah, like let's go. two miles away. It was like, everything about this is great. Um, I was passing McDonald's that as it, as it happened, they so do that on purpose, right? They right give there. you the good one right at the beginning. Just yeah. You yeah. Like, I mean, it's so good. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, yeah. So I've done them all so far. I don't know which one is the best. I think DoorDash might be the best in terms of money per hour. It's also, you're not spending an hour in a grocery store shopping. Um, but I just True. think content True. wise, um, though DoorDash does do that. Um, we had a guy the other day, he got, uh, Chinese food. And then on the way to his house, I had to stop by Dollar General and buy him batteries. I get that um, all the time. So, so uh, whenever we order DoorDash specifically, it's always like, hey, well, there's a 7-Eleven on the way. Or there's a Dollar General <laughs> on the way. And it'll does give it, you a list of tell things. tell you that? It does. So, it, like, as soon as you place the order, it's like you have 10 minutes with a countdown timer to also get something with no extra delivery fee from this place, which is on the way. Yeah. And it's usually like yeah. a 7-Eleven Dollar Tree, something like that. Yeah, I guess they could definitely change their tip because this guy did say he was going to tip me $10 to do all these things. And instead, I got paid $3 because he changed his tip to zero after I got his Chinese and his batteries. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, man. This woman. I'm surprised she didn't fucking. She, I, I'm surprised she still tipped me. Um, so uh, I was supposed to get barbecue for this lady. It's like start of the stream. First first thing I did. Um, so I picked up yeah, this barbecue. Go. And uh, it said that they had drinks. So he made a clip of it because I'm like, where's her drinks? He's like, no drinks. And he was like, so like, I don't give a fuck. No drinks. And I was like, all right. And so I was already like, oh, fuck, this woman's not going to get her drinks. She's going to be pissed. And then she put the wrong address in. So I took the food to the wrong fucking place. Oh, my God. Um, put it at the door, took a photo, all this bullshit. And then she calls me. He's like, that's not my place. And I'm like, that's where my fucking GPS took me. And mm -hmm. uh, she's like, well, it's not right. And she's like, told me where to go. So I... I go back up upstairs, pick up this fucking food, and at, when I do, the barbecue sauce on the top, the lid comes off and oh pours God. over all of everything. So it's just a bag yeah. full of barbecue sauce. All the fucking Hell plates yeah. are covered in barbecue sauce. Love and on the phone, I'm like, I have bad news. All your barbecue sauce just spilled. And she's like, great. Um, God, this woman actually did end up on camera because she came outside to w w wave me down, and uh, she's in front of the car. And like they, they, they like, took a clip of me handing her the food in case she said she didn't get it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was just a bag full of barbecue sauce. But as far as I know, she didn't, she didn't, was, yeah, I like, look yesterday, she didn't change her tip. So kind of surprised by that one. That's good. I mean, she, yeah. you said that they can't change their tip on, I think they can. Cause like I said, that battery guy definitely did. Cause it oh, did say on, I was going to get 10. Um, yeah, actually I think, I, I think you can for sure. Actually. Yeah. So what I always do is I just pick the lowest recommended tip, which I assume <laughs> is, well, it's already like 20% or whatever. Um, that's their lowest so, recommended because I've not got 20% yeah. on a single no, thing. I well, there that you can click other. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think most people right here click other and they're the other mm -hmm. night I was like, so done with the thing. Cause I did like eight orders and five of them did zero dollar tip. So like the money per hour was so low because like, like I said, DoorDash only gives you like two or three bucks for but every you, order. Do you see the tip when you pick it up? Like, you know, you're getting zero or is this all of these? No, it just says like, go get this food. You're going to get six bucks or whatever. And you're like, I don't know what, I don't know how much of that's tip. Like sometimes you, gives you like four bucks or whatever. Um, so you don't know where you're driving to with it. Do not know where you're driving to until you pick oh, up the see, food. Oh, see, this app is supposed to tell you that. Although I can't tell if this app is even exists anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, because that'd be really nice to know before you accept, like, oh, I'm going to have to drive fucking 30 miles away. DoorDash likes to do a thing where they take you a place. Like, they're like, what? pick this up. Like, like let's say I'm starting in my little Bodunk town or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And where they really want you to be delivering is Raleigh, because that's where all the orders are at. Um, and so what they'll oh, do... So they'll get you up there somehow. They'll get me to Raleigh, basically. They'll keep having me pick up food and take it closer and closer to Raleigh until I'm in Raleigh. You think that the system is that smart, or do you think it's just like, man, this is just what's it, here? Well, the, 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 that functionality is definitely built in because you can also be like, I'm going to end – with DoorDash, you say how long you're going to do it for. You're like, I'm starting now. Oh, this is how really? I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's not like Uber where you're just like, give me some food. Um, DoorDash, you're like, it's called starting a dash. <coughs> 
and then you can say, um, when I got 30 minutes left in my dash, get me home. Um, so then it'll have you deliver food and take it only. Home. I see. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that makes um, sense. Cause you could end up three hours away. Yeah. Honestly. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, what's the, what's the furthest you've been away? Uh, probably an hour and a half. Holy shit. You had to do an hour and a half drive back. Yeah. That's a long ass way to I not mean, get paid. It's probably well. That was probably because I started at Wegmans that day, and Wegmans is like almost an hour away. Because um, I really thought Wegmans is where the money's going to be, but it's not. It's just mm-hmm. not. I think it's the rich don't tip. They're like a rich say rich. They don't get it. No. Yep. Maybe they just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they just don't get it. Okay, we're done here with the pr- regular. I know. Are- it's already, it's only been 50 minutes, but we started very late today. So yeah. we'll do it 50 minutes on both. Okay. Um, cause I have a, a meeting. Sounds good. In, Thank in you guys hour. for watching. If you want to so. join the Patreon, patreon.com slash mindcrack, and we'll see you there. Bye.